Oh, Bitmain, could you possibly be the savior of Elysium? What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and I am a CPU miner, GPU miner, ASIC miner, maybe even a keyboard miner. Well, that's not quite a thing yet, but if it was, I'd be doing that also. But what I want to talk about today is Alephium. Those are freaking awesome looking CPU rigs, aren't they? Aren't those freaking amazing? Anyway, uh, I want to talk about Alephium and how Bitmain may be our only savior when it comes to saving a lithium. A lot of you guys are probably shaking your head being like, what are you talking about? And Bitmain's our only chance to probably add more decentralization to the Alephium network. Now, how could that be? Now, obviously a lithium could also just fork and then, you know, it'll open it up to maybe CPUs and GPUs again. I don't think that was ever in their roadmap. We all knew it's intended for ASICs eventually, and we really need them because right now a massive FPGA farm has taken it over for quite some time now, and it is killing it. All right, guys, so let's have a look at a Leafium right now at mining pool stats. We can see Hero Miners has 469 tera hash here and the majority of the hash rate. And the majority of all this hash rate is coming from one single farm. Now, I did do the video back in the past here. Uh, three weeks ago, it says Gold Shell AL box hash rates worth the hype wrecked by an FPGA farm. And here we can kind of see April 25th is when this farm turned online and it turned online on three different coins. So it split up its farm depending on the coin uh, based on that. So it did hit Alephium, RXD, and I believe it was Kyla coin as well. We'll just kind of play it fast forward. But look at the time frame when it happened right at the between the D and the A here. There's Alephium. I'm going to swap it over to a different coin here. There we go. I fast forward to Radiant exact same time. And here's Kyla coin the exact same time. So this farm turned on the exact same time on all three coins because it doesn't make sense to point their entire farm on it because they're already controlling the hash rate. So they'll just be using more power for no extra profits if they took 100%. So they actually have the hash power to dominate three chains and because of it, they're putting on a lot of sell pressure. So we did see April 25th is when this farm went online. So that is about right in this area right here. And ever since then, Alephium has been going down in price. It was seeing nice price gains pumping up to the moon type of thing and then all of a sudden this farm turns on and it's been daily sell pressure constantly outmatching obviously the people that are buying it which would cause the price to continue to go down. So what is this issue? It is a decentralization issue. You have one entity controlling the majority of the entire hash rate and causing all that sell pressure not holding anything. They can do whatever they want obviously but if we had a more decentralized ecosystem here more people spread out across pools being one of them we should never have a pool over probably 35 to 40 percent of a pool's hash rate you as a miner it is one of your main duties to actually spread your hash rate to the second third and fourth place pools i've also found through multiple testing that jumping into a pool around the 20 to 30 percent range when you do have a pool so big like this they do actually add increased profitability because Per the amount of blocks that they're actually finding compared to the hash rate, you're finding more per hash. So you're actually getting paid more running on smaller pools instead of leaping to the larger one. The larger one is here because it's one guy pretty much resulting in all this hash rate. So how is Bitmain actually going to help fix this? And the thing is, everyone I know, you hate ASICs. A lot of people are getting into ASICs. And depending who you ask, it's a totally different situation. But right now we have one farm that's causing majority of the sell pressure they're controlling the network hash rate bitmain to release asics people will buy them up it does you know they'll go to multiple pools and stuff but more people will have a lot more hash power at way better efficiencies than mining this on your gpus and stuff right now it's not really making sense yes gold shell has the al boxes but they're not very good they're the first al box they're expensive and so on and bitmain's going to trump them very soon which we're all aware of and that's probably why people are not purchasing these al boxes in the first place so they have that going for them so 
And once Bitmain does that, people will get them. It will slowly push this farm offline. And then, yes, you may have a couple large farms, majority hash rate or some rich pockets buying a bunch of these Bitmain ASICs. But you also have a bunch of other people with the same ASICs able to compete with each other. And that'll add more coins to more wallets instead of all the coins to one wallet which is just dumping the coin and that's going to hurt the coin long term so that's kind of what i'm seeing here you guys can disagree or agree with this you know obviously they could also do a fork here but as i mentioned earlier at the start of this video is i don't think that was ever in the elephium white paper or anything this was always meant to go at asic eventually so i don't think they're going to backtrack and fork it to a cpu gpu type of algorithm one or the other or both i don't know but i don't think that's ever going to happen and the only hope we really have for a Lithium to move forward is in fact Bitmain heavy duty ASICs or you know a lot of other companies too but everyone knows Bitmain is usually the biggest baddest ASIC company out there and they always blow everyone away so it's going to come down to Bitmain to finally announce their miners whenever that is and then people obviously need to buy those miners and then we need the decentralization to happen across a lithium or it's just going to get burnt down to nothing. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out.